us know. Next is the stove. And pretty easy to use our stove. As you can see, it has a uh, flat uh, ceramic cooktop. Very important to remember, I don't think we have any of them up here, but only metal pots can be used on this stove. <laughs> You cannot use any glass or visions type cookware, and you can't use any uh, corning or pottery style cookware. It will fuse itself to the top of the, uh, of the stove, and that will essentially ruin the stove. So um, please be very careful and make sure that only metal uh, cooking pans and pots are used on top of the stove. The control panel for the stove is fairly simple. Over here on the left side are the two knobs that operate these two burners over here. Over here on the right side are the two burners the uh, controls that operate the two burners over here. There are a couple of helpful uh, time-saving and energy-saving devices. Right here on the uh, left-hand knob, which is on the actually the right-hand side of the stove, the left-hand knob, you'll see that it has a black section and a white section. You'll also see on the burner that there is a, a line in the middle. This essentially allows you to use this as either a single burner if you have a smaller pot or a double burner if you have a larger pot. Very simply over here where it says if you're to turn it on where it says dual dual this will turn on the burner and I'll even show you here that it's actually the entire burner that is going on. If you turn it to the second section which is single, you will see that only the middle section lights up. That'll, that is how you would use this device. You will um, be able to use that if you're using a smaller or larger cooking pan. On the left side of the stove top, there is also an energy and uh, helpful cooking device that operates on the front burner. You will see over here that there is a setting called Sure Simmer. A little tough to see with the glare, but it says Sure Simmer. Uh, if you hit the button below it that says Sure Simmer and keep the dial in the lower part of the setting, this essentially operates as a very, very low simmering device. Um, so you can actually keep a pot of soup or something warm on it without overcooking anything. And again, you turn the knob to off, and that will simply turn off the switch, uh, turn off the burner. Something very important to keep in mind, and I haven't had it on long enough right now for this to happen, but right here below where it says cooktop on, and right here above each of the burners is a red light that goes on when the knobs to the stove are turned on. It is very important to remember that these lights are also going to tell you whether or not the stove is too hot to touch. So you will see these lights stay on after you turn off the stove. Do not be worried that the stove is still on. The lights are simply indicating that the stove is still hot. Very, very important to remember uh, so that you don't fear that the stove is still on. Regarding the oven, pretty simple. Uh, pretty much the only button I would think that you're probably going to need to operate it is the bake button right over here. When you hit bake, the oven goes on to 350. That's the normal setting. If you need to turn the temperature up or down, right here below the setting is the temperature button. This will turn it down 5 degrees at a time or up 5 degrees at a time. The stove, the oven does not go on until you hit the start button over here on the right. And let me pan out so you can see where that is. The start button is right over here. You'll hit the start button and you will see that the indicator will tell you preheat. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the readout will change from preheat to on uh, once the oven has preheated. Okay. Another helpful device, and we're going to turn off the stove at the moment, and the off button is right over here, that will turn it off, is the timer, which is attached right here. Very simply, you will hit the button that says set, and turn up the number of minutes right here. Let's say you want to cook something in the oven for 10 minutes, you turn it right up, and then when you hit start, that turns on the timer. The start button works for both the timer and the oven. So make sure that you notice whether or not there is still um, a temperature listed or the word on here. Um, right now I use the button to operate the timer. If I turn on the oven, you'll see the timer is still going, and then I hit the start button, that's going to preheat, as you can see right there. By hitting off on the timer, that will clear the timer. By turning off on the oven, that will clear the oven. Right here at the bottom of the oven is where we keep all the cooking pans, cooking trays, baking pans, etc., etc.